You better watch out, Lena. Your big bad mummy's gonna run over you. How do you feel about the fact that I'm gonna run over you, Lena? How do you feel? How does it make you feel? What's the mood, Lena? How do you feel about the fact that I'm gonna run over you? Ah, uh, yes, I found another victim. Hello. Hello, I'm going to run over you and break you. Yes. Come here, little gray one. Dog. Uh, so basically, a teenage boy, I think he was 16, was denied entry to a cat cafe in Toronto because the owner was worried about the cat's safety when it comes to wheelchairs? Question mark? This story was broken, like, kind of as a Global News exclusive, and I have to accidental journalism rant here, but I have to give Global News a tip of the hat on this one because disability stories don't ever seem to get as big, as viral, if you will, as other sorts of social justice stories. I've said many times, I will continue to say many times, that for some reason people with disabilities, we just always seem to be like swept under the rug when it comes to all this social, this social movement. So for an organization like Global News to take on a disability story and be like, yeah, we're gonna do this. You know, I really have to commend them for that. Newsrooms are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and there's like more news and more craziness going on in the world, and it's hard to keep up. I say this as someone who works in news, who works in a newsroom. I know how difficult it is <laughs> to like keep on top of everything and keep it going, and I realize that TV probably has more resources than radio does, but I just really commend them for, for putting the effort in on, on this one. So the story here starts, Jake Jacob Trossman loves cats, which is why his aunt decided to take him to a cafe in Toronto where customers can mingle with furry felines on Sunday, but this story was posted uh, about two weeks ago now. A week ago? Something like that. It was supposed to be a special moment to mark his 16th birthday, but he was never let inside. Uh, his mother told Global News uh, that they were denied access to the cat cafe because of his wheelchair. So originally when Jacob Trossman and his aunt went to the Meow Cat Cafe, they were told that the government gave them the special permission to ban all wheelchairs from the premises. Yes, that's what they said. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. So that's what she told them originally at the Meow Cat Cafe, but the owner said that they would be allowed in if they left the wheelchair outside. Now I understand that some disabilities, you know, you don't need the chair at all times. And first of all, even if that's the case, I have issues with leaving the chair outside on the streets of Toronto. Someone's gonna steal it. And second of all, that's not the case with Jacob. He needs his chair all the time. I need my chair all the time. You tell me to leave my chair outside, what am I supposed to do? Crawl in? Like, my legs don't work. <laughs> I can't just leave it. So then when Global News talked to the owner of the Meow Cat Cafe and kind of told them this, and she refused the interview, she did, however, say that she understands uh, that pe why people would be upset, but she says that uh, a cat in the past was injured by a wheelchair. Okay, so that might be true, but... I have a hard time imagining that the Meow Cat Cafe is filled wall to wall all the time with people in wheelchairs. Uh, so like you can't have uh, an employee like help lead the guy and his family or his aunt or whatever to a table to make sure that they don't get, they don't run into, like I just don't understand why you can't just like, okay, come on in and just like watch for it. That's what I do. We have two cats and two dogs in this tiny little freaking house. What do I do when I go down the hallway? You just look. You just watch to make sure you don't run, run over them. That's all it is. Maddie, when she was a puppy, she's a little, a little tiny black little dog puppy. She used to sleep under my chair. I could have killed her many occasions, but I didn't because you know what I do? I look before I move. That's all it takes. And I just feel like banning wheelchairs or assistive devices in general, which I believe became an, an issue later in the story as it developed, is not the answer. Maybe just being more careful. Maybe just having people watch is the answer. If if I have this story right here, so originally she tells them that the government gave her special permission to ban wheelchairs. Then she changes her story to say, she denies saying that uh, the cat cafe has a permit from the government to, to deny wheelchairs, but the city said she could. Um, and then her th the third amendment to her story is she claimed it was Toronto police who told her she has the right to remove to refuse any customer. So she changed her story as to why people in wheelchairs can't enter her cafe three times. We have had many cats in this house. Mm, many. We had a fair amount of cats in this house in my life. Some of them that didn't like my chair and never went anywhere near it. And then, you know, Lena, my cat, who, you know, I meet her and she immediately jumps on the back of my chair. And it's a small house. And we have many people and many animals here and I've never run over one of them. And I believe most people, especially if uh, the boy in question here is an animal lover, he's not gonna run over 
a cat. You know, wheelchairs are just as much a danger to animals in a cafe setting like this as people are. So then, anyway, after this story breaks, uh, apparently the Meow Cat Cafe was, like, bombarded by customers in wheelchairs. <laughs> Which is just so great, because... That is my favorite response. Oh, you said we can't come here? We're going to come here in hordes. Which, at that point, it's probably actually unsafe for the cats. Because it doesn't look like a very big place and to have all these wheelchairs in there. But that's not the point. So then, actually, para-Olympian Jeff Adams went to the Meow Cat Cafe. One of, uh, I'm not sure if it was a friend or whatever, recorded his interaction with the owner of the cat cafe while he's in the cafe. And she's like, no, you have, like, you have to leave the chair outside. Or the issue is that you're moving, so you have to just like be stationary. Like, come in and don't move. And my favorite part of this video that he posted on his Facebook page with the cat cafe is you know he's talking to her he's trying to be like you let me in like this is basically a human rights issue and one of the cats comes up and like looks at him and he reaches down to like pet the cat and she rips it away like you can't you can't even pet a cat now and then of course then someone eventually notices that the person he's with is recording and they try to take their phone like to me it's just so f funny because clearly they know they're in the wrong, but they're choosing to be in the wrong anyway. If you're really that worried about the cats, why wouldn't you just put some safety precautions in place? You see a wheelchair come in, you maybe have like a person uh, at the front or whatever who's like eagle eyes and has like watches the wheelchair and the cats, like just an extra set of eyes. There's no problem with that as far as I'm concerned. You know, I believe the way the cat cafe works, if, I, if I've watched the videos and I understand correctly, you go in, you go to the like the table up front you order something and then you go and sit down so why not just like have the person at the till act more of like a waitress when there's a wheelchair and like let the wheelchair come in get to a table and then like take their order you know i just feel like there are so many easier options than creating this whole hullabaloo i'm sorry i'm so close i'm trying to read from my computer screen uh and then the meow cat cafe posted the like two pieces of paper in their window and it said i'm sorry for the sudden closing for our customers as it always says on this door we kindly ask people to leave wheel things outside including bikes rollerblades boards etc and come in with our staff's help everyone spent great time with the cats without any problem in our cafe whether in a wheelchair or a walker or a baby in a stroller strollers are such a different thing than a wheelchair just for the record that is the whole argument for a different day but whatever i'm so tired of strollers in my wheelchair places there should be stroller places and wheelchair places these two should not combine but anyway she talks about the global news thing Sort of circulated the false fact that we had rejected people in wheelchairs for no reason. <laughs> okay, no reason. So today, August 10th, as soon as the news uploaded, people with wheelchairs came in absolutely in half a day, and many cats were slightly or badly injured and hurt and went to the hospital. I'm calling bullshit on that one. They thought they could do whatever they want and continue to use wheelchairs, even though the cats kept going under the wheels. That's just, I feel like that's just such bullshit. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> As a result, the cats are in a state of too much stress and anxiety. Now I want to ask the reporter, uh, who never tells the truth and disregards us because we are weak women and Asians who don't speak English well. I can't even begin to tell you how much it bothers me that she refers to herself as weak women. This whole thing could have been avoided if you had just thought this through, if you had just been logical, if you had it just worked out in other situations so you weren't just blatantly discriminating against a whole group of people. And like, I literally, like I just can't make the logical connection between how she thinks she's right. Like how can you think that banning disabled people from your business is gonna work out in your favor? How can you think that that's just gonna be okay and people are just gonna accept that? The act, okay? That's not okay. I totally think that she rationalizes it herself as it's better for the cats. And I mean, fair enough in the sense that I understand that that's probably what she thinks. It's not right, but whatever. But banning disabled people is not, not the right choice here. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. And also, I just, in general, like, I don't know if this is just me, but I just don't really like cat cafes that aren't in partnership with a local humane society. Like, it's different when it's, you know, you can go in, you play with cats that don't have homes, and then if you if you fall in love with a cat, you can adopt it. I've heard of many cafes like that, and it's like, that's amazing. That's the right way to do it. But if it's just, you just opened a cafe because you own a lot of cats, I don't like that. Like, I feel like you're probably not paying attention to these cats all individually the way you're supposed to be, and you're probably not taking care of them the way you're supposed to. I've read a lot of comments. I can't prove these myself, but I have read a lot of comments and stuff. People saying that these cats were really not well taken care of to begin with. Again, I don't know from experience, but like I said, I just feel like with that many cats in a cafe type setting, how do you keep track of them all? How do you keep them all healthy? How do you, how do you, you know? Anyway, I love this story. And to all my fellow disabled cat lovers, 
I salute you. We know that we're not out here running over cats, okay? That's just not how it works. And I find it extremely hilariously ableist that someone just thinks, well, wheelchairs just come in here and just mow down all the cats. It makes me laugh. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this story. Please let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. I'm so close to 1500. Help your girl out. And I'll see you next time. Bye!